Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial where we will show you a simulation of the flow across a projectile like a bullet or uh, something similar. So let's start uh, this tutorial by dragging in the uh, fluid flow fluent and drawing our uh, geometry. Let's name it toot 2 okay and uh, it's a 2D tutorial so make sure you click on 2D here before you start and go right click on geometry and new design modeler the next choice so we made a similar tutorial but uh, some people weren't uh, were not satisfied uh, for the reason that the fluid domain was uh, small and uh, this uh, 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 tutorial is uh, of uh, pressure far field so it must be a, a larger domain uh, it's not a problem however uh, I will do it again with the uh, a large fluid domain so let's start our uh, analysis by sketching let's click on XY plane and click on Z or click on uh, look at face in order to see the 2D sketch. Now let's uh, just save our work so that we uh, remember let's make it on D also 2 2 okay and name it the same that's a great and uh, let's uh, let's start by sketching so we will sketch the projectile let's say here remember to put constraints on auto constraints okay you uh, you press it from here from the constraints tab now let's go to rectangle and start sketching when you see letter p it means that you got the uh, vertex so let's click here and make our rectangle and sorry press escape and before we need to just set in millimeters because our uh, sketch will be uh, in millimeters it's a small size projectile so we draw again and we press here and we go to ellipse and we draw here in the middle okay the center of the origin and let's make it this size okay uh, now for the rectangle let's set the dimension uh, let's just undo and set the dimension of the rectangle before so here we go h1 and v2 so h1 will be let's say 30 millimeters and V2 will be, or sorry, let's make it 90 millimeters and V2 will make it 30. Okay, that's good. And uh, go back to draw and uh, click on ellipse as we were doing. So P here, P again, and let's make it the size. No, let's make it smaller. Okay this size and let's go to modify and click on trim and start trimming uh, the edges as I'm doing okay we don't need these edges now to go to extend and extend this line to here so this is uh, a symmetry of uh, half of the plane of the projectile with respect to the uh, x-axis now let's go to uh, uh, let's stay in modify and go down to replicate so I'm using uh, the modify options in order to uh, teach you how to use them now uh, press the first edge then control press this uh, two edges and now uh, right click and press on use plane origin as handle then right click again and click on a flip horizontal and go to the origin and you see the letter P just uh, press and press escape now you have uh, the uh, sketch ready you just need to go again to trim and trim the uh, center here okay 
Now you go to concept, surface from sketches, just click on one edge and the program will understand that you want uh, uh, the whole uh, uh, object uh, to make it as a surface so it will highlight the whole edges and uh, press generate and here you go this is the first body now uh, to draw the fluid domain we just uh, click on new sketch and we go and we start by the uh, circle so uh, we draw the circle let's start here and let's draw a large domain I think uh, this is enough okay and uh, let's set its dimension as D3 and it will be let's make it 2000 okay that's good and why I'm doing this is as we said because it's a pressure far field uh, uh, case so now let's go to draw again uh, rectangle let's draw it from the origin of the projectile go up okay now you can draw it uh, uh, just randomly and then you can uh, put the dimensions this is the first rectangle this is the dimension it will be equal to the radius so the radius is 2000 and this is 1000 so they intersect at the vertex of the uh, circle now we go to draw again and we draw another rectangle the same from the vertex this is the letter P we go and we drag it uh, here till here and then we set its dimensions just the uh, v5 dimension the width as 1000 and in this case we finish drawing now go to modify and use the trim option again one two and this is two now we're using two times because it's two edges because we have drawn two rectangles and for the middle just one time and this is one and inside here one two two and now we have uh, sorry we have still here and here and let's go to dimensions just to uh, take this off in case it uh, bothers you uh, just you can delete it click on edit click here okay and uh, press delete on the keyboard now go to concept surface from sketches as we did before press on one edge apply and on the operation don't forget to change add material to add frozen so that uh, the software will understand that it's a different uh, uh, object so now uh, we finished generate and let's see this is it this is the fluid domain uh, this is the surface body it's set as solid and the, the next surface uh, body which we will change from solid to fluid and this is okay now what to do is to subtract uh, the whole region from the projectile because we don't need to examine the interior of the projectile we just we need to examine the flow over it so go to uh, create boolean and uh, click on the operation change from unite to subtract click on the target body which is the large body click apply and the tool bodies is the body inside which is the projectile click apply and preserve tool bodies here uh, the software asks you a question so you keep it no because uh, you don't want to uh, preserve the interior of the body so just click generate and here we go now in this phase we should start uh, 
preparing for our mesh so what we will do is we will uh, draw edges uh, for the uh, lines and regions we want to uh, focus on and manage so let's go to sketch and uh, be careful we are still in design modeler so go to sketching and let's draw a line from let's draw a line from here to the end we will trim this later and draw a line let's say from here okay to to the end also perpendicular okay now go to modify and trim the outer edges and uh, we will focus on uh, these in the previous tutorial I only drew uh, uh, this one here, an edge here, but I uh, didn't uh, make one here. Let's uh, just, uh, I will make it, uh, I will mesh this here in order to show you how this will look. So uh, let's go to modeling and the, sketch, uh, the uh, edges are highlighted. We go this time to concept. We don't use surfaces from sketches, we use a line from sketches and it's already highlighted so we plus press uh, sorry press apply and we generate now we have our a new sketch uh, it's named sketch 4 and uh, we want to uh, we want to ah it's okay we have now line uh, 4 which is uh, uh, an image for sketch 4 now what we want to do is to project uh, these uh, uh, lines uh, onto the uh, whole domain in order to be able to uh, manage uh, certain surfaces like in order to be able to um, have this section alone uh, to manage it in the meshing uh, in the meshing phase so what we do is um, to for example if you want to uh, make an inflation here you can't uh, do it on uh, uh, if the case is only like this, you need to project in order to have this section. Uh, you will be able to uh, handle it alone, and this one alone, this one alone, and uh, you go on. Now what we do is we go to Tools, Projection, and we click on the edges manually. Control click, click, click. Okay, now here you have them. Press Apply and the target body is the uh, whole body you want to project on so click apply and just generate now that you have the projection uh, what you do is you go to line body you right click and you suppress this in order uh, not to see the projected lines inside the uh, surface inside the sorry the projectile because you will not uh, need it uh, uh, so that it doesn't bother you also because you will not use it uh, okay and now we go to the next phase now let's just uh, save and uh, go to the workbench and double click on mesh so that we start our uh, process for meshing uh, now just wait for it and as I said it's a good practice to always uh, generate a normal mesh the default one in order to see how it looks and we start the meshing progress we start by sizing the edges now this is the first edge let's uh, click apply let's use the type as number of divisions and the number of divisions we make it 900 and we will use the bias type as the first one second one let's try the first one and let's put a bias factor of 7 and let's see if this is right now this is wrong because we should choose the uh, no, this is uh, right because uh, it's biased more here uh, near the projectile and this is what we want. 
So now let's proceed and uh, go to the next edge. And this is the small one. Right click, insert sizing, go to type and do the same thing, number of divisions. And number of divisions this is a small uh, edge, let's make it 100 and the bias is the same so let's put a factor of seven and let's see okay uh, mesh control or just stay here in the graphics just uh, click on the upper edge right click sizing go to element size number of divisions just we are repeating the progress uh, the process sorry uh, number of divisions is uh, make it 700 and the bias type it's the first one and bias factor 7 and now we have the last one left insert sizing number of divisions 700 and bias is the next one now this will appear uh, obvious uh, when we mesh if uh, we are choosing the right bias type uh, bias factor 7 and let's uh, go to mesh and if you noticed what we forgot to do is to mesh this edge so let's go to insert sizing number of elements and let's choose 700 bias is the next one 7 as a factor and let's generate again uh, well let's make this 25 and let's generate and see what we get and now let's have a look Okay, that's fine. So we can proceed now uh, to our uh, uh, to Fluent to uh, organize our uh, procedure uh, to start our calculations. So we go and press update, and now we go to Workbench and we double click on Setup. Okay, now when we double click on setup, we will have uh, the Fluent Launcher, so let's choose Double Precision, uh, Parallel, and I have explained these in the first tutorial, uh, so uh, I'll not get deep into this, let's make the video as short as possible, the number of processes, let's choose 5, and click OK, let's wait for the Fluent window to open. Now this is a, a high velocity uh, uh, flow, so let's choose uh, density based, and let's choose, it's not steady state, let's choose uh, transient in time, and let's go to modals, if you want to deal with uh, heat transfer and temperature, you click on the uh, energy equation. Uh, let's put it on and uh, the flow this is without uh, viscosity this is laminar flow and the rest is for turbulent I also explained these in uh, the uh, I'm sorry I just shed light on these in the first uh, uh, tutorial and I will make an explanation in other tutorials to explain each one what is it so for now let's uh, choose a K epsilon a realizable model and let's click OK and now let's go to materials and since this is uh, uh, pressure far field uh, it should be the fluid should be it must be an ideal gas so change create OK now close and for the cell zone conditions now we forgot to do something in the uh, 
and the meshing so what uh, we forgot to do is to just name uh, the uh, the boundaries and this is so easy click on the boundaries make sure you're pressing control and you press create name selection and you name it pressure for field and the software will understand it so let's click on mesh and update okay it's transferred to fluent let's just refresh here and wait until the software uh, takes the new names So, just make sure the surface body is fluid, and we will make sure of it. Okay, click on the surface body and it's fluid, so everything is okay. Now here's the uh, new uh, uh, boundary, pressure, far field, and let's double click and put the, the Mach number point, let's say point 0.4 and OK and the X uh, component of flow direction is this uh, direction it's X direction OK so the projectile is traveling to the left and uh, now we go to solution methods let's choose the uh, second order implicit and let's go to initialization and click on hybrid initialization I also explained this in the first tutorial you can uh, just review this and go to solving and uh, initialize the number of steps in run calculation let's make it 50 and let's create a solution animation so that we can see uh, the let's say velocity let's make it filled smooth and let's see the whole region oh that's nice and let's uh, close press on contours click OK and let's start running our calculations and waiting for it to finish OK now you go after you finish just make sure that your results are converged in the scaled results and uh, go to contours of uh, velocity magnitude which we chose to uh, visualize and uh, monitor now you double click on animation and you go here in the window to solution animation playback and you will find that uh, it's uh, almost recorded from start frame to end frame and uh, you visualize it you click uh, play and you just enjoy watching uh, uh, this so thank you for watching and uh, see you in the uh, next tutorials uh, have a nice day goodbye